Eric Magidson here. Today we're going to talk about Excel 2010 Basics, Managing and Moving Cells. Please note that a lot of these basic skills that I'm going to show you in 2010 are easily accomplishable in previous versions of Excel, such as Excel 2007. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I've got a spreadsheet here that I've created with some data. It's a medical company. We're going to use this spreadsheet for the next few lessons. So what we want to work on today is managing and, and moving cells. So in this case, what I have is a spreadsheet. And as you can see in this first row, row five here, I have too many data points. Well, after auditing the data, I found out that this data point here is wrong and I need to delete it so that the rest of the data points will move over. There's a couple ways I can do this. I happen to be a mouse user more than the ribbon user, but if you notice here's insert and delete, we're going to go ahead and delete this point. We can do this by clicking the down arrow, say delete cells, that brings up this box right here. At this point I need to decide if I want to shift the cells to the left or shift them up. And in this case I want to shift the cells to the left once I delete this, I'm going to say OK, and if you'll notice, they've shifted in. Now I'm going to do this next one. I've audited this column here to find out that 452 was a data point that shouldn't be in my column. This time I'm going to highlight the cell, right click, and choose Delete from the menu here. And I want to shift the cells up, so I'm going to say OK, and as you notice, they shift up. So this was deleting cells. Now if I want to delete a range of cells, I can certainly do that. For example, here I've clicked on and highlighted the row. If you notice, these two rows are the same. One of them has the correct data. One of them may have had older data from an older year. So I'm going to right click on the row, choose delete, and it's going to delete that row for me. So now as you can see, my months are not in order. I've got June, July, I need to put August in here, which means now instead of deleting, I need to actually insert. I can do that two ways as well. If you notice, I've highlighted the range of cells that I need to move over. I'm going to go ahead and say insert, insert cells. It's going to ask me if I want to shift the existing cells right here to the right or down. I certainly don't want to put them down, so I'm going to say to the right, and there we go. Now, to move August in here, I'm going to go ahead and highlight August, and I'm going to use my cursor on one of the borders till I get these four arrows. So as you can see, all of the borders work. I'm going to then click and hold the left mouse button while I move this over to where I need it. And just to reiterate, as you know, I can see I have an extra data point. It's this cell right here. I'm going to right click, delete that cell, and move the data up. So now I've got August in its place, September, October. I need to move December. I'm going to highlight it, right click. I'm going to insert, and I'm going to shift the cells to the right again. This time, let's say instead of moving this range of cells, I actually wanted to copy it. Perhaps I want to use November down here for something else. What I'm going to do is go ahead and get onto the move. I'm going to hit and hold the control key. If you notice, my cursor changes to an arrow with a plus sign. I'm going to left click and drag just like I did while holding the control key, and I'm going to let go. So the control key is a copy. If you notice, this time it didn't move the data, but it copied the data. So that's moving and managing cells. The last thing I wanted to do was go ahead and align all these cells. Looks like I missed a data point in here. I've gone to my paper and found out this should be 513 patients. I'm going to highlight the range of all the cells. And in this case, because it's number, my best practice is to right align the data. So if you notice, I can left align, I can center the data, and I can right align. Because these are numbers and we want all of the ones columns to line up, the tens columns, the hundreds columns, etc., I'm going to go ahead and right align. So there's alignment. Notice I could come down here. I could align these cells here. Let's go ahead and 
align the titles of these cells by centering them. And as you can see, things like the person's name, last name, and first name are left aligned. Looks like there's some additional data here I want to look at, so I'll widen that cell by widening the column. I can certainly come down here and move things around, move cells, till my data starts to look good. So that's moving and managing cells, and we'll talk to you soon for the next video.